Yeah, I now have three nephews under the age of five who are insane for Sesame Street. And I don't know if you can tell by the short amount of time we've been together, but I am not what one would call a role model. Okay, because I can do the voice of Elmo. And I get them to do stuff for me like they were my own personal Sesame Street servants. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm like, hey, do you want to do something for Elmo? and the DJ answers. He's like, yeah, this is 101.7 WKZQ. Who do I got on the phone? This is Emma. <laughs> hey, DJ, can you play that song that goes, Booty, 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 Booty Everywhere, Booty Everywhere, Booty Everywhere. Because Emma likes the booty. <laughs> Look, girls right now are smiling, but you guys are like, that would get old very quickly. Yes. My wife hates that voice because I pull it out at the most inopportune moments ever. Ever, dude. We'll be making out, getting hot and heavy, and I'll be like, This next sexual experience is brought to you by the letter R. No sense of humor at all. None. I was doing a college show in rural Iowa and was lost. And I saw there was a cop cruiser with two cops in it parked in the median doing nothing. I know, shocker. So I parked my car and got out and just walked up to the car and I was like, Um, can you help me? Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? And the one cop looked at the other cop and he goes, Oh, a character isn't that hilarious. Yeah, can you do anybody else? And I was like, actually, copper, I can. I can do the count. Do you guys remember him? Yeah, the vampire guy? Yeah, I just jumped right into it. I was like, Vaughn! Vaughn, little piggy in a cop car! Two! Two! <laughs> and they will arrest your butt for that in Iowa! Ridiculous. Because I don't know if you can tell from where you're sitting, but this body right here, yeah, it's not made for fighting. Not at all. I am skinny, man. And can we agree by a round of applause, skinny people are useless in a fight? Useless! Useless! In fact, no! In fact, the only, not the only thing skinny people can do in a fight is tell the cops what happened after the fight is over. Yeah, yeah. In fact, if there was a fight right here, like right here in the middle, it would be me and all the other skinny people. We would be huddled in the corner for protection. We look like those stupid meerkats on the Discovery Channel. We'd be like, what the heck just happened to them? Oh my God, he got hit in the face. They got hit in the face. We should help him, dude. We should help him. I can go help him, dude. You go home and I'm so glad you guys have seen that show. <laughs> so I joined a gym to bulk up and uh, it's not working. The gym I joined, all the machines are pneumatic. 
which means they use pressure rather than weights. That's terrible for a guy like me because now I can't even bench press air. <laughs> you know how hard it is to ask for a spot? People are like, how much you get on there? I'm like, freaking nothing! <laughs> I joined the Gold's Gym for two weeks. You guys ever been to Gold's Gym? Those are some serious lifters there. They got color-coordinated costumes to lift weights. You ever see that? Yes, they got like the bike pants that are really tight. They got the tight shirt with the cut-off arms and stuff. And they are really intense when they work out. Super intense. This one guy was like, come on, push it out, push it out. You're not looking hard. And I'm like, look harder, look harder. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. And I'm like, whoa. I'm just stretching, man. <laughs> This one guy in the locker room was like, hey man, I can crack a walnut with these glutes. And I was like, yeah, but who would want to eat the nut after? <laughs> Some walnut kind of sore. He'd be like, yes, that is a delicious walnut. Just a hint of peanut buttery flavor with just the slightest whiff of ass. That is a delicious walnut. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now, okay, from one skinny person to everybody else, okay, if we ever get in a fight, we will cheat to win, okay? Yeah, I fight to live, that's what I do right there, okay? I've been in one fight, one in hands down, no contest, accidentally stepped on this guy's shoe, he loses it. I was like, you know what, I don't like your attitude. I will see you in the parking lot, five minutes, we will handle this like, man! <laughs> yeah, and he showed up! <laughs> so I hit him! with my car. <laughs> Which to me was fair, because I was like, duh, meet me in the parking lot. That's where you freaking keep cars. I had to go to court once, because I was drafted into a bar fight. Now I say drafted because I didn't want to participate, but a big guy like this guy right here, he came and picked me up off of my bar stool and threw me like a weapon into the opposing team. Yes, and my chest hit somebody in the face and he fell and tried to sue the bar. So I had to go to court, the most embarrassing day of my life, guys, because when I got there, they wouldn't even let me sit with the other people. I had to sit in the dang evidence section. Wouldn't even call me by my real name, kept referring to me as Exhibit A. Judge goes, how do you plead? I said, like a little girl. He goes, what I don't understand is how come you just didn't fight back. I said, your honor, my car was in the shop.